and gentlemen. Oh, well, if you don't want to listen, I, I'll tell it to these nice people out here. Joe, lower the curtain. Oh, <laughs> so impetuous, these stagehands. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you about yum. Spelt Y U M. Now, years ago, the word it was a personal pronoun. And then, about a decade ago, Eleanor Glynn made it into a, a noun, a very personal uh, noun. Did you get me? <laughs> if you had it, you, uh, you were. If you didn't have it, you, <laughs> you weren't. Today, it has gone, and yum is here. And how? Now, Samson had yum, oh, loads of it, uh, until he was uh, de yumped by Delilah. And Romeo, Romeo was distinctly yumpish. Of course, uh, several ladies have been kind enough to say that uh, I have uh, yum. Of course, that's a matter of opinion. Perhaps we've skip that yet. <laughs> so without further parley, chat, or ado, I bring you, you. Oh, my little desert flower, come to my arms. Ah, you quiver. You tremble at my very touch. But you haven't touched her. How do you know that she's quivering and trembling? Well, I was just reading the lines, Charlie. The wall, old boy, it's awful. The scene ain't got no yump in it. That's the word, yump. The scene has no yump to it. Ah, uh, my little English orchid. You feel it? Yump, Waldo, yump. Dope. I give you my personal guarantee that after I work on you for one month, I'll forget Irene completely. Couldn't spare a month. Two weeks. Women are not civilized, like we are. They like bloodshed. They like forceful men, like me. Nice of you to come to my defense like that. Oh, shucks, twerk nothing. Uh, anyone in my place would have did the same. Oh. <laughs> there, there is a man with you. <laughs> 